So, I want to make a game a long time ago. And every time I want to start making it, I did the same mistake. Creating a new project, start brainstorming for ideas, making some mechanics, prototypes, and then I stop and throw the project away. Because of one simple reason. Art. Whenever I'm trying to start a new big indie game, I start overthinking everything. And the biggest reason why I stopped any project in its early days is because I start thinking how I'm going to do art in the late stages of development. And when I open a 3D or 2D software and touch anything, I am like, nope, that is not going to happen. And then I abandoned the project. And after some time, I remember that my dreams and passion is about making games. So I start new big projects and I stop for the same reason over and over again. Of course there is some other reasons like the idea is not clear in my head or some other life related stuff but I can say with confidence making art is one of the biggest obstacles for me when I want to start making my games. But this has to be changed. I will make games no matter what, whatever it takes. So I will do it different this time, no overthinking. That doesn't mean no planning or something but when it comes for things that need to be figured out later. I will figure them out later, including art. And as a solo game developer, I need to know how to make art. And buying assets is fine too, but at some point, I will need a unique touch to the art style of my games. And by the way, I already started learning sculpting in Blender, and it is damn hard. <laughs> <laughs> I know it will take a long time before I can make something worth showing, but it's okay, building the core mechanics of the game will take time too, so I hope my blender skills will be good enough by the time I need to make arts for my game. But for now, I only need to make a simple character so I can prototype the game with. But before that, let's talk about the game I wanna make first. The game genre is not defined yet, cause I need to be careful about my choice. I'm thinking about a roguelike, but this needs some thinking before going on that road. I will talk about this in another devlog, but in general, the game is a top-down action-adventure game and dungeon crawler game like Hades or Death's Door or Tunic. Also, I want to have a bit of a Dark Souls touch in it. The game sits in a world which contains various fantasy elements. Wizards, demons, monsters, magic, and humans. The lore is something that I will talk about later, as I am still working on it. In any case, the main character is a cursed warrior that have a sight as the main weapon. I have a friend who is a 3D artist, and I have asked him several months ago to make a character for me. And it is good, but I want something a bit more serious, so I have changed some of it to this character, which will be our guy for now. My current modeling skills will not allow me to make the character I am imagining in my head, but as I said, things to be figured out later. So, I opened the engine, I created a new project, and I started making the project folder structure. Since this will be a big project that I'm gonna work on it for a quite long time, it is a must to keep everything organized from the beginning. I may do a video in the future talking about how you must organize your project folders for medium to big projects. Anyway, I then made some debugging script so I can easily strip the debug code from the builds without hunting every debug.log in my code whenever I want to make a release build. Again, something for another video maybe. Then I have set up the camera angle to be top down. Of course there will be changes and tweaks later, but overall that is how the view of the game will be. I have then imported the character I made, and also some animations from different assets on the asset store. Also I used this tune shader, and I guess it looks good for now, let me know what you think about it, I will be happy to read your thoughts on this. After I set up the character, I start making some basic movement logic, just to test the animations and that everything is working well. Also I need to keep in mind that my code should support other controllers, not just mouse and keyboard. In general, I must keep my code flexible as much as possible, and that can handle any gameplay mechanics in the future. 
I then spent so much time just trying to make the basic movements work and feel right with the animations. For now I made a very simple and rough animation system that can just change the animation state based on a boolean. But when much more animations will come into play, I definitely need to make some sort of a strong animation system that can handle multiple animations for multiple gameplay mechanics because I will be implementing a lot of animation states in the next months. So probably that's the first thing I'm going to do before adding any sort of mechanics. Otherwise, things will get messy quickly. I also made a simple camera movement so it can follow the player. This is done just by setting the position of the camera to the position of the player, but with an offset. As you can see everything is basic at the moment, the main idea is to get something to work with and build upon it, so I can start making some real gameplay mechanics, and then I can start polishing things step by step. After that I imported the scythe, aka the main weapon. And the materials didn't seem to be separated, so I fixed that in Blender by giving each part from the model a unique material, so I can set them in the engine. And then spent a quite some time trying to tweak the animation so it can handle the weapon correctly, otherwise it will feel and look off and not a part of the main character. Also, I changed the idle animation to this animation, which feels just right for this weapon. And I guess it looks good. And as always, everything here is changeable, including the animations. But to be honest, I may keep that one. Anyway, let me know what you think. In general, the current run movements are not the best yet, but it works for now. We are just in the beginning, and things will definitely get changed and polished along the way. Another thing, and the last thing actually that I wanted to add in this first devlog, is the chain, which connects the protagonist to the weapon. Something like Blades of Chaos from God of War. I want to implement it early because I have some ideas for it, and in order to test them, I need to add it now while everything is still simple, assuming that some of the future mechanics may depend on it. And I want it to be physics based, so I will not have to animate it myself with every animation set, also, it will give some realistic look, better than I can ever animate anyway. I tried to use hinge joints, but for some reason it kept falling apart with high speed. So I used configurable joint instead. It has much more control and it seems to be working. And about that realistic look I mentioned, I'm not satisfied 100%. It looks okay when running, but when the player stops, it feels a bit not realistic. So that's something I need to fix. But you know what? I will let the future me handle it. I trust that boy. He will figure that out. So yeah, that was the first devlog for my game. It is not much, but it is definitely a beginning for something big I hope. Please let me know what you think about this devlog. I will be happy to read your feedback. And if you want to support the channel and the game, the only way to do that at the moment is to consider subscribing and liking the video. It has been a while since I have been active on this channel and for that I apologize, and I will try to be more active with more devlogs and game dev content. For that being said, thank you so much and see you in the next year. Haha, <laughs> just kidding, see you in the next month.